Welcome back. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, create a routing. So when we click uh, current weather, it's going to take us to current works. And when we click five day forecast, it's going to take us to forecast works. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is going to go to our app component HTML, and we're going to get rid of these two selectors. And now we're going to create a new file uh, that I'm going to call uh, weather.routing.ts. Unfortunately, there's no CLI for this, no CLI command, but it's not uh, that difficult to create. So the first thing we have, so what we do in this file is create a constant. We're gonna call it weather router. It's going to be of type routes. And here, this is going to take an array. Now, I want you to look that I'm getting this highlight and tell me that I can find name routes. And I get this because I use this package called uh, Angular 2 TypeScript Snippets, uh, which kind of fires whenever I'm doing, when I have a syntax error in my project, I would recommend you to download it. Again, it's Angular 2 TypeScript Snippets uh, by Greg on net. Yeah, it's really useful. So I don't get uh, this warning. I need to import routes. To do that, I type import routes from Angular router. Okay, perfect. So this array, uh, this type of route, is going to take an object of how many routes I'm going to have. In this case, I'm going to have two. And inside this object, we have a path property. I'm going to have an empty string, which means this is going to be like my default, uh, the fallback uh, page or state. Uh, for my application and in here I have to call my component property and here I'm going to have the current component now as you can see uh, this is complaining because my router doesn't know what current component is what I need to do is import that uh, current component import current component From, and I have to navigate to it and I am in weather routing so I have to go to current and my current component so we go to current slash current that component you don't need to specify specify uh, the file I'm going to is smart enough uh, to know that you're targeting the uh, TypeScript and as you can see it's not complaining anymore now the next one is going to be a path and I'm going to call it forecast and I'm going to put this component property oh, oops, forgot to close component and this is going to be the forecast component Again, I have to import it as well. Um, forecast slash forecast component. All right, but now we need to export this route, and we're going to create a new constant that I'm going to call weather, uh, weather routing. And this is going to have a type of module with providers. And this is going to be equal to 
router module for root. In here, I'm going to pass my my constant variable or my constant. But as you can see, I'm getting yelled at because I don't know what module providers is or router module. Router module is going to be uh, kind of like a, you want to call it a library inside of uh, Angular Router. You copy it here. Oh, no, sorry. Route. Router module. And module with providers is inside of my is inside of the Angular core, uh, let's say library. And for root is a method inside of a uh, router module. Now we need to open our app module and inject this uh, what I call it, a property or functionality we added. So we're going to add uh, weather routing from uh, weather that routing. Since app module and weather routing are at the root level, I don't need to navigate into a folder. And this is going to go to our imports array. Okay, perfect. Now we need to go to our uh, header component HTML and make these links available. So we're going to use this directive, router link. And in here, we're going to open brackets, open semi, open single quote, quotes, and this is means home. Sorry for that. And then we have again router link. Open the uh, location mark. Open brackets, open zero quotation mark, and here we're gonna navigate to forecast. Okay, now we need to tell Angular 2 that these pages are going to be changing because right now uh, my app component only has my header. So, what do we have here is uh, we're going to use this selector called a uh, router outlet and now we save this and if it, everything's all right my page should be able to load come on it's loading and as you can see look at my URL our forecast Default forecast. Okay, this is working great. All right, uh, if you have any questions, which you probably do, please leave a comment. And if you like the videos, uh, if you like the videos, uh, please subscribe or leave a like. Uh, and in the next video, I'm going to start working inside of the current weather, and we're going to see. Uh, a lot of cool things working uh, uh, working there. Uh, see you next video. Ciao.